What's up, everybody? I'm sorry I've been gone for a little while, but I'm back now. You know, life, COVID, work, uh, things get ahead of this. As a, uh, this is a hobby for me. I love doing it, and I would love to do it more. And uh, I promise I do try to do my best to post more videos. Thank you for the feedback on a couple of my videos that are doing pretty well. I really appreciate it. Anyways, to get right on with the video, I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your 2015, early 2015 MacBook Pro. Mine has been running great, but over the past two months, it's slowed down a lot and has been overheating. So I'll show you how to fix that here. So basically here, you're going to see I'm using just a magnetic uh, screw pad so I don't lose my screws. Uh, my laptop, obviously, under the laptop, you see a little shirt. I'm using the WowStick Mini 1F, I believe it's called. I have a YouTube video, which I'll link in the description. Uh, me unboxing it and giving a little first, uh, first glance review. Uh, so that's what I'll be using to uh, unscrew the backing and uh, the components that are needed to be unscrewed through the laptop. Here, yeah, you just basically select the right screw. I don't even know the names. Just choose the right one and then start unscrewing the back of the laptop. You're also going to need some thermal paste. I'm using the Corsair TM30. There were very good reviews online about it. Um, this is the one I used on my PC build uh, a year, year ago about. Uh, so I'll use it for this. Seems to uh, do the job right. So there you go. Just unscrew, untighten a little. And then if you have an electric screwdriver like me, just run the screws basically uh, so we're gonna fast forward this obviously I'm not gonna make you guys sit through everything trust me I try to make these videos shorter as some of the comments have been that I ramble too much I'm sorry about that okay that's me but I do hear the, that feedback and uh, I am gonna do better so there you go you unscrew and then you pop the back open you see how dusty it is uh, but it's okay we're gonna get that clean so actually here you can see how much dust, that's just on the backing. I've never opened this laptop since I got it in probably late 20 or mid 2015. It's an early 2015 model, but as you can see, it got pretty dusty. Not as bad as I thought, but uh, it has been quite dusty. I'll be using alcohol and not peroxide alcohol uh, to basically remove some of the grime and grease in, in very few areas. Uh, the reason for that is alcohol basically uh, it gets disinfected right away. Anyways, remove those two screws on that metal little uh, shield. Clean off that metal shield and then you'll see where the batteries are connected. You want to unplug the battery before continuing to work. So you can just pull it. Usually you'd use a plastic tab, but here I'm using my, my fingers. Don't do that. That's stupid. I did not have a plastic tab. <laughs> So yeah, um, you're going to see me, I just basically go all around with a q-tip or a cotton swab throughout the video, cleaning uh, as much uh, just visual dust uh, as I can see, uh, some the light dust that's basically on top of things, trying to be careful not to catch on too many metal pieces, but uh, yeah. So then I get to the heatsink for the CPU gonna be a bit careful here because that's what we're gonna be opening uh, there are some rubber guards on top of the screws uh, they're they're pretty garbage quality they're just little rubber little rubble rubber I guess uh, discs on top of the screws um, so I will try to clean those but the rubber and they suck so essentially you just pull them off after but you want to keep your clear uh, take the opportunity to actually just clean the inside of your computer from the dust as much as you can. So now we're gonna get into removing the little rubber guard on top of the actual heatsink that's attached uh, to the fan. And uh, that bit of dust, I just wiped it off here with my hands as you can see. Then there's uh, basically five screws, four around the actual on top of the CPU, the heatsink aspect that's on top of the CPU and one that's near the fan. So as that's what I mentioned, you can see those rubber little guards. Just take them all off and unscrew. Very easy. And then that last one on top, and then you can just pull off the, heat, the entire heatsink. As you can see, the thermal paste is actually quite uh, crusty, might I say. Uh, it's definitely been worn out and needs to be replaced after about at this point five years no uh four and a half years let's say uh but uh yeah this should help a lot so basically i just use a q-tip Q -tip and some alcohol to go run through it and clean as much as i can around the cpu area 
those two little metal pieces by the way are the cpu components uh, so we will be cleaning that as much as we can there's also always some residue that's left on the plastic casing around the cpus where they're placed but that's okay and then the actual heatsink as well you want to remove as much thermal paste as you can on basically everything use some alcohol in the q-tip clean it uh, also there's some dust caught on the part of the heatsink that is attached to the fan where the air flows through the the radiator essentially i guess that's what it's called don't butcher me if i said the, the wrong term it's, it essentially is a radiator clean that the dust off and then clean the thermal paste the old thermal paste off of the actual heat sink plate that's on top of the cpus there you go once that's clean basically take the new thermal paste and we're gonna apply it now what you guys are about to see is some terrible application skills don't make fun of me I know they're not great but it is where it it's an oddly shaped CPU it's like a rectangle and a smaller rectangle and to be honest I wasn't prepared to see that and I didn't watch any videos before so I was like what the fuck and uh, yeah I did my best uh, to apply what I thought was the correct amount I, I actually put it looks like I put a lot but I really didn't it's basically I spread it out a bit with the actual syringe uh, maybe on the left I put definitely too much but uh, on the right one it seems to be sufficient anyways it'll work you'll just have some excess going around so then just uh, obviously take your heat sink place it back gently don't apply too much pressure just kind of push it in a tiny bit make sure everything covered all the screws are aligned and then Put back all the screws and screw it back in. Don't make it too tight, you don't want anything to break. Ideally, how I'm doing it is wrong. You'd want to do one screw in the heat sink on top of the CPU and the one screw, the fifth screw there near the fan. But I did it wrong, but that would be best to make sure that even pressure is applied. Put back the rubber guard that uh, we had. As you can see here, my fan isn't that dusty, but for some people it is. So in that case, I'd recommend to just maybe use a, um, a pressurized air uh, can for dust cleaning and just clean that area. Uh, and then I just clean some more around the batteries, just uh, some general excess dust after the work. By the way, once again, I apologize for the background. It is just a regular, my table that I always use for videos and a old, uh, basically cut up t-shirt that I use to, to smudge up all the dirt on. Put back those metal plates and then we got to clean the back also, take advantage. There you go. Magic, perfectly clean. I snapped my fingers. I'm basically God. Then you're going to take it and you're going to place it back. And you know, I just said I was God, but I can't even align a damn back plate on a MacBook Pro. So what I'm going to do is I will look at where the clips, the inserts are for the backing and I will align it properly and clip it into place. Then obviously take all your uh, your screws and screw it back in. Very simple. This as well, every time you're screwing something in that's flat, you always want to go one screw across each side every time to make sure that there's even force applied. I did not do that, but uh, that should that should have been what I've done. Um, but uh, either way works. So just screw them all in. There you go. Make sure the computer's clean. Open it up. I know my screen's messed up, but uh, there you go. You see it works. It boots. It turns on. So that's it. I did do some thermals after. Um, there wasn't a huge difference, but uh, it, it was running a bit faster, utilizing a bit less CPU at certain temperatures. And uh, I noticed that the fans wouldn't start blasting as often as they did before. So thermals were definitely much better. So that's a big fix to help your 2015, 2016, or really whatever MacBook Pro you have uh, survive just a bit longer. Mine's, again, it's older, but their Mac OS is so well optimized and I haven't really felt many slowdowns. Keep in mind, I don't use any intensive programs on there. I have my PC for that, but still some basic Photoshop and stuff like that works fine. 
so yeah this should help a lot i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and if you're new here please consider subscribing i don't post a lot so i won't bother you too much for now but hopefully i'm trying to post more and more and i want you to be notified when i do i'm sure you're gonna enjoy my videos i love tech i love all things related to basically hardware software anything really you guys will get to know me with time thank you again for watching and have an awesome fucking day guys ladies and gentlemen I mean, right i forgot the gen the ladies so uh have a great day ladies and gentlemen thanks